Hey there, Jonathan here and this is Beer Tour in Seoul. Today I will be looking at Feel Good by OB. In the last previous video, I've made a review on Feel Light by Height. Feel Light is cheap beer that you can find in South Korea. And I have mentioned that it's cheap because in the beer content during the brewing process, the ingredient, one of the ingredients will lack the average content of making a beer. And that was malt. Malt uh, was less than standard ratio of 67% and feel like it was around 10%. That's why I feel like it's low selling at low cost, low price, and it's technically not an actual beer. Obi has came up with a cheap beer and it's actually the cheapest beer that are out there in South Korea as of the moment and made a competitive price, a low price for consumer to make purchase around the nation. How did they make a cheaper beer than the Feel Light? Feel Light lacked the malt content. Feel Good is actually not a beer, it's an alcoholic alcohol beverage, the Hapushu. Hapushu is a Japanese style alcohol drink, uh, which means it also lacks malt, uh, less than 67% standard, and most of the time there are other hapushu, hapushu beverages that do not use the malt, instead they use other crops placing the malt during the brewing process. So it's not a beer, but a lot of people, when I say a lot, like globally a lot of people mistakes hapushu as, an, as a beer. It's not a beer, it's hapushu. Hapushu is hapushu. So if I put a phrase to make you clear understanding and easy understanding of what hapushu is, it is a sparkling alcoholic beverage. So feel good. It costs about a dollar in US uh, and it's even less. It's couple of cents, like 80 cents, uh, 70, 80, 90 cents when it's under sale. So for the smell, it starts like smell. And the color. It's very clear in terms of the Bright gold, bright gold. The taste. If you taste those, um, just a little bit of expensive craft beers, uh, you would taste rich flavors of malt and hops, and the byproducts of the yeast, from scents. All combinations are strongly scent, but but this this, this feels good. It's hapushu. Like I said, back to the phrase that I told you about, sparkling alcoholic beverage, exactly what it is. Well, alcohol content is 4.5%, so it does not fall behind the average of an actual beer alcohol content. So it's a light um, party purpose alcohol. Well, there is not actually a lot of things to say about this beer. It's cool and refreshing, yes. Mm, it's not a beer, it's a hapushu and it really just tastes like a sparkling, a little bit of barley flavor, a little bit of barley, uh, I don't know which type of malt was used, but a uh, unique aromatic hop. This is the cheapest beer that you can find in South Korea as of moment. I feel that when it was launched, I feel that Korea is at beer war whoever makes the cheapest beer wins, uh, wins the war. For a consumer's perspective, uh, if the big companies, big mass producing companies continuously make cheaper and cheaper beer, for a consumer's perspective, that's good. Because, you know, if you wanna end your day, your tired, long day of work at night, so you wanna just enjoy the alcoholic beverage in your hands, it's worth the money. However, if we continuously chase after cheaper and cheaper beer or just generally everything, the products, quality of course is gonna lack and lower and lower, lower and lower quality of products will be manufactured and as we chase after the products with low quality and low price, we tend to just let go of ourselves, uh, forget to value ourselves 
and treat ourselves as just being it feels like almost like being slave to low cost, low price, low price items. So just letting me letting myself go. It's a bad habit. So I'm gonna be honest, how do I feel about this taco shoe that are a lot of times people are just mistaken with a beard? Honestly, I just it feels like you know if you're in um, a college party and everybody's had finished their exams, everybody, every college and friends are gathered there and there's one awkward kid who enters the party and without even saying hello to anybody, he just grabs a drink, sits by himself. Say hello. You know? Um, that's how I feel about this beer. It's 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 good. Uh, aligned with every other beer in in in, in a fridge, a convenience store. What the hell? You know? like, it doesn't even just suits with every collected beers at a convenience store. And it's there. It's like a party, a large party. A kid just walks in. It just feels like that. that that's awkward. Awkward combination along with a food, you know? Would I recommend it? Uh, if worth the money, yeah, uh, as a consumer, as a person goes through everyday work and you're trying to end your day with a nice ice alcoholic beverage, yeah, it's worth the money. It saves you money financially, yeah, but I would not recommend it to, as in, you know, presenting this beverage to someone special and make it taste them. Am I going to recommend that it's gonna, it's going to save you your money financially and present this beer to someone special? No, this, this, this is one of the choice that you would uh, have it for yourself. Your other budget, it's another budget problem. But yeah, so the level, it has a cute level with the um, a whale. Cute, yes. cute price. It smells funny <laughs> to me. So, overall, I would give this apple sheet 1.9 out of 5. It's going to be lowest review score that I'm going to give to the lowest price alcoholic beverage that are a lot of times mistaken as an actual beer. It's a apple shoe. just tastes funny. just reminds me of that awkward, awkward person just entering a massive... You know, don't, don't, you, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to be mean. It's like it's that awkward kid who, not being themselves, he's trying to fit in the group. But you gotta really relax yourself and be yourself, and you know, know how to talk yourself into a group, you know, without causing a scene. But this awkward kid, you know, that kid, he, he trying to be someone who's, who actually is not, and that just makes others feel awkward. That's how I actually feel about this beer. Oh, it's not a beer. Sorry, it's. Not a beer. Remove this from the lane of beers in the convenience store. Separate lane is required for half a shoe. It's not. It should not be on the same lane with the beers. A lot of people are mistaken. It's a beer, but it's not a beer. Well, feel good. It's the cheapest, cheapest alcoholic beverage half a shoe you can find in South Korea. A lot of times, people are globally people are mistaken this alcoholic beverage with an actual beer because the fact that it's in a can like a beer it's not a beer it's half a shoe it, it tastes funny sparkling alcoholic beverage that's how exactly this tastes like on a low budget cases scenarios um you know in low budget circumstances you have no other way other choice but to drink this yes yeah, worth the buy it's worth the money <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video but your subscription will help me I will guide you to the beer in South Korea which is a better choice for you by explaining each and every beer that are out there in South Korea thank you again and have a nice wonderful rest of the day or night or morning wherever you guys are and I hope this review will help you to know better of South Korean beer. Thank you. Bye.